It wasn't so long ago that if you were going to jailbreak your Nintendo Wii U, it was going to cost you. First you had to sign on to the Nintendo eShop, search for a compatible game to download, and fork over the money. But it's a new day because all you have to do now is just juggle some files to your SD card, put it in your Wii U, and the new Tiramisu modding process will take care of everything. Come on, let's go mod your own Wii U together. And be sure to stay to the end of the video for important bonus content for your newly modded Wii U system that you don't want to miss. On your PC, sign on to the Wii U.hacks.guide website. I've got a link for you in the description below. Scroll down on the page until you see the section called What You Need. There are two links here and you'll need to open both of them. The first one is called Tiramisu for your cafe. You can open this one up in a separate tab as you'll need to grab some files from it. And the other link is for the 01 sigpatches.rpx file. You can just click on this one to download it. On the Tiramisu website, scroll down and locate the following boxes and click on them to make the check marks green if they're not already checked. NAND dumper, then scroll down and click on payload loader installer, then right underneath it scroll down and click on base Tiramisu. Now scroll down to download package and click on it. This will create and download a zip file containing all of these components. You'll need to uncompress the zip file you downloaded in order to copy over its contents to the SD card from your Wii U. Once it's uncompressed, delete the zip file out of your downloads folder in order to eliminate clutter. Navigate to the folder that you just created and double click into it. Insert the FAT32 formatted SD card from your Wii U into your computer. Now you can grab everything that's inside the folder that you just created and drag and drop all of it right onto the root of the SD card. There's one more file to copy over and it lives in a subfolder inside the Wii U folder on the SD card. Double click on Wii U, then double click on Environments, then double click on Tiramisu, double click the Modules folder, and double click the Setup folder. This is where that 016patches.rpx file needs to live on the SD card. Go back to the Downloads folder, grab that file, and drag and drop it into this folder on the SD card. For now, you can close out any instances of File Explorer in Windows, remove the SD card from your computer, insert it into your Wii U, and power on your Wii U system. From the main menu of your Wii U system, navigate to the Internet Browser and select it to launch it. Inside the Internet Browser, navigate to the following website. Wii U exploit.xyz. Once you've landed on this page, tap on the button that says Run Home Brew Launcher with the exclamation mark. Once the white screen appears, press and hold the B button. You'll be presented with a black screen that gives you two menu options. Use the D-pad to scroll the arrow down to NAND Dumper and select it with the A button. This process is going to back up your system NAND or system internal memory. You can keep these settings at their default. But if you wish to optionally back up your MLC or your 8 or 32 gigabyte internal memory on your Wii U, change the setting to yes. Just be aware it will take a lot longer to complete the backup and you'll need an SD card that is at least equal to or larger than the size of the NAND you intend to back up. Once you have your settings chosen, press the A button to start the backup process. The Wii U gamepad will show a message similar to this one indicating that the process has begun. Once the NAND backup process is complete, your Wii U system will return to the main menu. From here, you can power off your Wii U, remove the SD card, and put it back in your PC. In order to preserve the backup of the system NAND, you should get the files off the SD card and put them on your PC. Here, I'm going to create a new folder right on the desktop and name it Wii U Backup. You can just copy over everything that's at the root of your SD card and then just drag it and drop it right into the backup folder on your PC. Now that you've got everything backed up off of your SD card, you can delete everything off of the SD card except for two things. Leave the Wii U folder in place and the file called versions.json. Everything else can be deleted off the SD card. An important note here, double check your work carefully as once you delete these files off the SD card, they don't go to the recycle bin, they're deleted permanently. This should leave you with just the Wii U folder and the versions.json file on the root of your SD card. Now you can remove your SD card from your PC, put it back in your Wii U, and power on your Wii U system once again. From the home menu of the Wii U, once again, launch the internet browser. Navigate back to wiiuexploit.xyz and select Run Homebrew Launcher again. This time, hold the X button, 
and you'll see the Wii U curtains for the browser come up, a white screen with the Wii U logo, and this time it will load the environment loader. From the comprehensive list of two choices, highlight installer with the blue bracket and select it with the A button to launch it. You'll be prompted to check whether or not an installation is possible to your Wii U system. With the highlight marker set to check, press the A button to continue. You should get a message that payload loader can be installed to health and safety information. If you don't see this message, go back and check all of your steps carefully throughout the entire process up to this point. From the list of new options, select install slash update with the A button. And at the confirmation prompt, move the marker down from back to install and select install with the A button. Payload loader will be installed to your Wii U system. And once the process is complete, you'll see a message to press A to shut down the console. Press the A button now to power off your system. Power your Wii U system back on. At the Wii U main menu, select health and safety information. Press and hold the X button on the Wii U gamepad and you'll be taken to the environmental loader again. Just like before, highlight installer with the blue border and select it with the A button to launch it. Just like before, you'll be prompted to run a check, select check with the A button. Okay, pay close attention here. Unlike last time, move the highlighter down to boot options and select boot options with the A button. From the list of choices, make sure the marker is set to switch to payload loader and select it with the A button. Once the switchover is complete, press the A button to shut down your Wii U. Then turn it right back on and you should be taken back to the environment loader automatically. This time, move the blue highlighter down to Tiramisu and press the Y button on the Wii U gamepad. This will select it as the default environment upon startup. Now press the A button on the Wii U gamepad to launch the Tiramisu environment. The blue highlight border should already be on Wii U menu. Press the Y button on the Wii U gamepad to select this. Once you've selected it with the Y button, press the A button on the Wii U gamepad to launch into the Wii U menu. Give your Wii U a moment to adjust to its new settings, and Tiramisu will be up and running. But you sure don't want to miss out on these important bonuses that will add tremendous value to your jailbreak experience. Check this out. Back on the Wii U.hacks.guide website, under the finalizing section, there are three homebrew applications which will add a whole lot of new functionality to your newly jailbroken Wii U. Scroll down on the page and you'll find them under the section called Additional Homebrew Apps. The first one is called Save Me. You can just click on the link to download it directly from their site. Save Me lets you manage your Wii U and virtual Wii save data. In addition, you can open these other two links in separate tabs because they're hosted on the GitHub and need to be downloaded individually. These are going to be links for Blue Pair and Wii U Extract to SD, which is the Wii U homebrew store. Blue Pair lets you pair all kind of Bluetooth connectable controllers to your Wii U, including things like the PS5 DualSense controller. That's amazing. On the GitHub page, scroll down to the Assets section and grab the latest version of the Blue Pair zip file shown here. And the Wii U Homebrew App Store lets you download all kind of great homebrew content directly to your Wii U console. On the web page, scroll down through the list of change logs, sources, and other information until you get to assets. It's important to note that there are a number of downloadable files here. The one that you want is called Wii U Extract to SD.zip. Click on that file to download it. The only thing you need in your downloads folder at this point are the three zip files you just downloaded. You can delete the other files that you previously downloaded as part of the tiramisu process. Remember, you've already got a complete backup of your SD card. Go ahead and extract each of the zip files that you downloaded for your bonus content for your jailbroken Wii U. And as you go along, delete the zip files once you have them extracted in order to eliminate this clutter out of your downloads folder. Grab the SD card out of your Wii U system and put it in your PC. The easiest way to get this stuff moved over is to go into each folder individually. Then grab each folder's contents, copy them all, and drag them right over to the root of the SD card. You'll notice that there are folders labeled Wii U inside these downloaded folders. No problem, drag and drop them right onto the root of the SD card, and the files will be merged properly in the Wii U folder on the SD card. As before, you can close out any instances of File Explorer, Remove the SD card from your computer, insert it into your Wii U, and if it's not already turned on, power it on. To launch your newly installed homebrew applications, from the Wii U main menu, navigate to Me Maker and click on it. This takes you directly to the homebrew launcher where you can launch the newly installed applications and others along the way. If you need to go back to Me Maker, just press the Home button on the Wii U gamepad. And to get back to the Wii U main menu, press the Home button 
and then click on Close Software, you'll be taken right back to the main menu. Now that you've got your Wii U jailbroken, why not check out this video shown here on the screen and linked in the pinned comments and description below. I'll see you there.